Ebola. The virus begins at Zaire, Africa. The first person infected with the disease was village school headmaster Mavalo Lakala, who began displaying symptoms on August 26, 1976. On the same day a second outbreak of EBD began in Yambuku, a small rural village in Mangala district in northern Zaire. The first known outbreak of EBD was identified only after the fact, occurring between June and November 1976 in Anzara, South Sudan. Bats were known to roost in the cotton factory in which the first cases of the 1976 and 1979 outbreaks were observed. In 1984 a new virus was discovered in monkeys in lab. In late 1989, Hazelton Research Products Reston Quarantine Unit in Reston, Virginia, suffered an outbreak of fatal illness amongst certain lab monkeys. The Côte d'Ivoire strain a weak form of Ebola was discovered in a monkey in 1994. The second major outbreak occurred in Zaire in 1995, affecting 315 and killing 254. As between 1976 and 1998, in 30,000 mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians and arthropods sampled from regions of EBOV outbreaks no Ebola virus was detected apart from some genetic traces found in six rodents and one shrew collected from the Central African Republic. In 2000, the Sudan strain attacks Uganda and kills 224 out of 425 which was 52 percent. In 2000, Uganda had an outbreak affecting 425 and killing 224, in this case the Sudan virus was found to be the Ebola species responsible for the outbreak. Between 2001 and 2003, 300 people from Zaire were infected by the Zaire strain of Ebola. Only 70 survived, which mean only 23% survived and 77% of the people infected by this virus died. Outbreaks of Ebola may have been responsible for an 88% decline in tracking indices of observed chimpanzee populations in 420 square kilometers Lhasa Sanctuary between 2002 and 2003. In 2003 there was an outbreak in the Republic of the Congo that affected 143 and killed 128, a death rate of 90%, the highest death rate of a genus Ebola virus outbreak to date. In 2004 a Russian scientist died from Ebola after sticking herself with an infected needle. A 2005 survey of dogs during an EBOV outbreak found that although they remain asymptomatic, about 32% of dogs closest to an outbreak showed a seroprevalence for EBOV versus 9% of those farther away. Between April and August 2007, a fever epidemic in a four-village region of the Democratic Republic of the Congo was confirmed in September to have cases of Ebola. On November 30, 2007, the Uganda Ministry of Health confirmed an outbreak of Ebola in the Bundabucho district in western Uganda. The 2007 outbreak eventually affected 264 individuals and resulted in the deaths of 187. On August 17, 2012, the Ministry of Health of the Democratic Republic of the Congo reported an outbreak of the Ebola Bundabucho variant in the eastern region. In 2012 it was demonstrated that the virus can travel without contact from pigs to non-human primates, although the same study failed to achieve transmission in that manner between primates. In March 2014, the World Health Organization reported a major Ebola outbreak in Guinea, a Western African nation. On August 8, 2014, the WHO declared the epidemic to be an international public health emergency. As of August 2014, the WHO does not consider travel bans to be useful in decreasing spread of the disease. On September 19, 2014, Eric Duncan flew from his native Liberia to Texas. As of September 2014, the average risk of death among those infected is 50%. As of October 15, 2014, there have been 17 cases of Ebola treated outside of Africa, four of whom have died. On October 23, a doctor in New York City, who returned to the United States from Guinea after working with Doctors Without Borders, tested positive for Ebola. In October 2014, 
the CDC defined four risk levels used to determine the level of 21-day monitoring for symptoms and restrictions on public activities. On November 11, his case is unrelated to the Texas cases. The person has recovered and was discharged from Bellevue Hospital. As of November 2014, none had yet been approved by the United States Food and Drug Administration FDA, for clinical use in humans. On November 29, 2014, a new 15-minute Ebola test was reported that if successful, not only gives patients a better chance of survival, but it prevents transmission of the virus to other people. On December 24, 2014, a laboratory in Atlanta, Georgia reported that a technician had been exposed to Ebola. In December 29, 2014, the FDA approved light mix Ebola Zahir RRT-PCR test on patients with symptoms of Ebola. The report indicates it could help healthcare authorities around the world. On the same day, Pauline Kafferke, a British nurse who had just returned to Glasgow from Sierra Leone was diagnosed with Ebola at Glasgow's Gart Naval General Hospital. In 2014 the virus spread outside of Africa, evolution of Ebola all over the world. EVD in humans is caused by four of five viruses of the genus Ebola virus. The four are Bundabuchio virus, BDBV, Sudan virus, SUDV, Thai forest virus, TAFV, and one simply called Ebola virus, EBOV, formerly Zahir Ebola virus. Between people, Ebola disease spreads only by direct contact with the blood or body fluids of a person who has developed symptoms of the disease. As of January 3, 2015, this outbreak has 21,206 reported cases resulting in 8,386 deaths. This virus is so deadly, there is a potential for it to be used as a biological weapon. New drug, termed ZMAP, was developed by a biotech firm, MAP Biopharmaceutical, include. Several years ago, this company and the National Institutes of Health and the Defense Threat Reduction Agency were tasked to develop a treatment for Ebola virus infection. ZMAP is an experimental biopharmaceutical drug comprising three chimeric monoclonal antibodies under development by MAP Biopharmaceutical as a treatment for Ebola virus disease. The drug was first tested in humans during the 2014 West Africa Ebola virus outbreak, but has not been subjected to a randomized controlled trial to determine whether it works, and whether it is safe enough to allow on the market. Documentary by Sasitharan Muthusami